Welcome new warriors. This is your technology session. Follow along and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is log into your computer. Having been in the CBE, I'm sure you're familiar with having logged into a computer using your student number and password. Let's do that now. Enter your student number and password on the screen in the spaces that you see provided. If this is something new to you, then you're going to need to use your birth date as your password. That is your year, month, and day, just as you see here on the screen. Here's an example for you. You have many link leaders and your link teacher in the room to help you along. Take a moment to get logged in, pause this video as you need, and resume when you're ready. All right, now that you're logged into the computer, let's take a moment to navigate to Chrome and open the browser so that you can go to the Henry Wisewood High School webpage. Find your Chrome browser in the bottom of your tray there, open it up, and in the address bar, you're going to type www.cbe.ab.ca forward slash Henry Wisewood, H-E-N-R-Y-W-I-S-E-W-O-O-D. Once you get there, you're going to see this bar across the top with a bunch of news information below it. We're going to hover over this culture and environment tab to locate the quick links underneath the technology tools. Your website might take a moment to come up. Sometimes it's a little slow, so be patient. Here we are, culture and environment, technology tools, and down to quick links. That brings us up to this page. We're gonna to scroll to the bottom and locate this student password hub. This is this purple icon with the link on it. Click on that. You're gonna go in and set up my security information by clicking this. Here you see your username, which is your student ID and password. You're gonna enter both of those things. Inside the set up my security information, you're going to check the box at the top that's present for your G Suite. Then you're going to go in and select the option to provide an alternate email address, which you'll put in another email address that is not your CBE email, so that if you need to recover your password or get back into your account, you can do this by having a forgot link sent to you at this new email that you're putting in and then press save. You can change your password by clicking on this purple one. And you wanna make sure that the password you've chose is a minimum of eight characters, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. Go ahead and set up those two things and then we'll move on. Pressing pause might be helpful. Resume when you're ready. All right, let's talk about Brightspace by D2L. D2L is a space where you're gonna find all the important information for your courses that your teachers provide you. Let's get familiar with that. So you can find this in one of two ways. You can just simply type Brightspace by D2L CBE in your Google browser, or we can go back to the Henry Wisewood technology tools page. Here we are back at the school website. Under technology tools, you see Brightspace by D2L here. Clicking on the Brightspace button brings you to this page where you can sign in. Choosing sign in here, you're going to type in here your student number and the password that you just chose and go ahead and sign in. Inside D2L, you can see you have the shelves that you've been attached to by your different teachers. So you'll see your various different courses. You will also see the grade 10 homeroom. In the top right corner where your name is, this is where we can find out what your school email address is if you don't know it. Scroll down to account settings and you hover over your name. In the account settings, you're gonna click on, once you've clicked on that, you'll find that these three tabs appear and you're going to choose email. When you click on that tab, you're going to then see email options. Um, you'll see a reply to email address. 
looking in here, you should be able to see your email address that says at educbe.ca. This is your school email address. Record it. Remember it. You'll need it later. Let's go to Chrome so you can sign into your account. Go to Google. Go to sign in and use the Google account. Put your username that you just discovered at educbe.ca. Click next and your password is the same password that you just used to log in or to access D2L. Take a minute to do this. Press pause and resume when you're ready. Okay, so just to recap, your school Gmail account is your username that you just learned at educbe.ca. Your Google Drive is going to be the most important feature using your Google Workspace for Education since all of our computers no longer have any space for you to store your materials. You must put it in your Google Drive, so cloud storage is the key. When you log off the computer and go, it will be wiped out. So remember, upload your stuff to Google Drive before you walk away from the computer so it's saved for you. Then you'll have it if you go home or any other computer that you need it on. All right, let's get you connected on the wireless network. So, do you have a personal device with you? Maybe your cell phone? Take it out. Instructions are on the Henry Wisewood Technology Tools page, so you can look back there. And under Technology Tools, go find this icon that says CBE Wi-Fi, and you will find the instructions. Let's head over there now. Here's our CBE wireless instructions. Here's the instructions under step two for student. Let's start by selecting CBE Get Connected Network in your Wi-Fi settings. Find that. Select student. Enter your student ID and password, then click accept and sign in. Once you've read through the tips, you're going to select Get Key. Here's the most important part. Copy the 20-digit key. Yeah, it's long. Best option, take a screenshot. Save that screenshot, okay? It will not be displayed again, so you want it recorded somewhere. And if you have another mobile device that you want to connect, perhaps a personal laptop or iPad when you bring it to school, you're going to need this same key take a screenshot. Step five, go to the Wi-Fi on your de device and connect to CBE My Devices Network. Step six, when prompted, type in your device key. Make sure you have not entered any extra spaces or other characters as the system will count these as part of your password. Step seven, you're now connected. Check it out. You can surf without using up data. Okay, now that you're connected on the Wi-Fi, let's go download the PowerSchool app. PowerSchool app is available for iOS and Android. And this is where you're gonna find all the helpful information regarding your grades, your schedule, assignment information, attendance, and so much more. So find your app store and download this app onto your phone. When you go to sign in, you'll be asked for a district code. That's DDXT. Your wonderful link leader is in the room and your link teacher can help you get this set up. Press pause and resume when you're ready. The next download, let's go find the Pulse app. This is the app that'll keep you connected to D2L. It'll provide you with notifications on things that have been posted, announcements, assignments, due dates, quizzes, and so much more. Again, in your app store, go and find the Pulse app. Download it and let's get connected. Remember to turn on your push notifications and check the app settings so that it sends you updates and calendar reminders. Again, your link leaders can help you do this. And that concludes your technology section. Short and sweet, you're connected, now stay informed, use the tools that have been provided to you, and don't forget, if you have any questions, you get lost, or if you're confused, ask one of your link leaders, ask a teacher, 
we're here to help you. Have a great rest of your day.